Hey guys, it's Xbox not here. Uh, before we resume our progress on the counter, I really just want to say I know it might be boring and really, really obvious, but I don't really want to. I really want to keep as much as I can in the videos. I, I I know I've been cutting some stuff, but I don't really want to cut too much. So I'm I'm obviously not gonna watch you let you make me uh, make you watch me place blocks down but I'm just gonna take you through the obvious stuff anyway just in case people can't follow so basically what I'm doing here just what we did last time we just put the the waters in and the ladders pressure plates and doors putting exactly the same water pattern on the other side which creates a channel just like this which puts the boat straight through uh, I already did one over here for some reason so it lines up perfectly and makes the boat go look even me I'm going straight onto the pressure plate and that's what we want the boat to do so easy way to do this or what I'm doing in your snake pattern so every other block you just put a row of four making sure that it's in line with the water do, do, do. I didn't add too much onto this I just added enough Oh. Okay, and then ah, I was meant to push shift there. You just put a block on the end, block on top. Get back up and place some water here. This is exactly the same length across, so including no not including this original edge it's two three it's four out and then one extra for the water block so the water block is placed four blocks away from the water stream but there's a block at the end to prevent it from just like going off the edge which might be annoying because we might put a, a reset channel over there so just going over and just place some blocks Oh no, please don't tell me I put them in all the wrong places. Ha, <laughs> Ollie, you retard. Wait. No, yeah, I did. Damn it. Oh. No, I don't like it when the water does that. Wow, I'm such a baby. That is just, I'm sorry, it's just so annoying. Yeah, OCD. Do, do, do. Okay, we'll just do whatever once, however many you've done. So, place in the water. I've cheated, obviously. I've put in hacked water only because I hope you can understand. But to make videos and to make them easy for me and easy to show off, it's just so vital that I use in Veditas because I can't get all of these resources on a normal game just to make one of these huge uh, mechanical sorry mechanisms uh, I just I just can't do it especially seeing as my world was deleted this is a, a new world so I was never gonna be able to get all the things uh, in time for videos and it would just be a waste of time so what we'll do after this well, we've basically done this, so um, I'm thinking we should test it out. No, what we'll do, you might have glass, hopefully you do, but what I think we should do is over all of your blocks over all of these places put a put some stone I'm thinking maybe we should just cover the whole counter what I'm trying to think of is how we should wire all the doors together when you press a button so you know so every door will open when you press the button and every door will close so it will just make mean the, the wherever the boat is it will move up one station every time so what we'll do is, you know what, let's, let's just test it out. 
test it out. Uh, I apologise for wasting some time, but I'm just going to quickly put some boats. Just five. It's a good little inverter thing. Ah, look at it. Okay. <clears throat> Just place your boat in your first docking thing. Open, close, just like a button would. I'm, I'll try to do the clock speed. See if it's um, if it's open, the do the boat won't go forward. So I have to close it again, then open it, then close it. But the the advantage of this is that. The boat won't just go straight through when the clock's running. It will, it will have some delay, so we can actually see it. Also, no matter how fast the close and open is, the boat will always go through. So, even if your boats are going absolutely rapidly, they won't stop. Yeah. Except for that one. Okay, now we will prob... Um... I'm trying to think about the best way to go about this. I think we should cover the whole thing. You can you can obviously choose what you cover it in. I might do glass. But glass, you can't put redstone on glass. Which is annoying. You might be able to. I don't know. I'm not going to bother testing it out. So I'm going to cover the whole thing in stone. Uh, but to keep... To keep this short, I'm just going to stop now, but the next part will be up tomorrow, probably. Uh, so next part, I will have covered the whole of this in a material, and what we'll do in that part is we'll wire all the doors together, lead them off into a trail, and then be able to press a button. Uh, and then after that, we'll link the pressure plates to the numbers. You know what, let's... No, let's not do that now, because we have to wire the doors. Yeah, so next time, we'll... Uh, uh, yeah, we'll wire all the doors together, lead them off, wire the pressure plates to the decoder, and then finally we'll add, put a clock in there and have a counter and a manual switch, and it'll be done. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next part.